Degraded Daughters of Dianetics. We are uh, Vanessa and Alicia. And we are so happy to be chatting with you guys today and tell you a little bit about our brand new channel. Uh, hit subscribe now so you don't miss our newest videos. We plan on putting out some original content um, and adding unique voices to the conversation around disconnection and growing up in Scientology. Uh, I'm Vanessa. I grew up in Los Angeles. I am living here now. I began my journey out of Scientology in about 2015. Things really hit the fan in 2017. No, 2016 was my official disconnection. Um, I've spoken out once before on a podcast with Rachel Bernstein. She's an incredible therapist. Uh, her podcast is called Indoctrination, if you want to hear it. There's an awesome backstory in there. And she has incredible cult stories to share from other people as well. Um, and I'm now working in the mental health field. And I am a certified peer support specialist. I also have a bachelor's degree from California State of Long Beach in psychology. So I have been searching for a way to share some of this incredible knowledge I've come across in my education, on my journey here, and met, re-met my friend Alicia. And we are so happy to be reconnected. We figured out a awesome vehicle to share our stories and for us to be able to share what we've learned so far. It has been such a mind melting, brain exploding journey through psychology for the last five years or so. And uh, working daily with uh, Los Angeles homeless population, I have incredible experiences now that require such compassion and empathy that we were not taught growing up, especially about people who are dealing with mental health struggles. So we want to share things with you over this YouTube channel and hopefully a podcast. And we're looking forward to hearing from you guys and uh, bringing voices to the conversation. Alicia, did you yeah, want to come join us on this um, fun, heartbreaking journey of finding ourselves, refining ourselves, and um, yeah, all the fun, not so fun stuff in between. Um, Vanessa and I both grew up in LA, so we were both uh, born into Scientology because um, we chose this, obviously, um, and we haven't seen each other in 20 years, and we recently reconnected thanks to the power of social media. Yeah. I um, was following a hashtag on Instagram, The Aftermath, and she posted something October 26th. <laughs> And so I saw it because it was public and I was like, oh, I was like, get, just getting to work and I'm clearing messages. And then I saw that post and I was like, huh, interesting. And I was like, oh, that's, that sounds so familiar. So I clicked like on it, which I don't normally do, but I was like, I think I know this person. Sounds super familiar if it's the same person I'm thinking of. And maybe what, five to 10 minutes later, I think it was, I think she <laughs> messaged me and I was like, oh my gosh, do you remember me? And so we just had this um, really fun, like, just messaging back and forth, uh, Instagramming, DMing each other. And it was like, I didn't think you'd remember me. I've been seeing you since I was like 16. So at 16, I moved from California to Florida. Um, so I moved and she came and visited briefly and I saw her then. And that was it. That's the last time that um, I saw her. We've just been living life. You know, she I had been looking for her as well, but she got married. So I think the name was different too. True, uh, very true. So I was so happy to see that. When you right, that. I know, it was so fun. I was just really taken aback that she even remembered me. Um, we knew each other from maybe about 10, 9, 10 years old-ish, like young kids, young elementary age, um, up until 16-ish when we moved. 
and then yeah we reconnected and it's been really fun our our fathers worked at the same company right so we knew each other we saw each other I would always hear about you and your family which is so funny now because like that's how our parents would kind of talk us into going to church things oh Vanessa will be there and you know so and so will be there and we'd be like okay I'd be like yeah she's She's cool. She's cool. And then when we reconnected, started messaging, we realized we have so many similarities. So many. It's so wild. And we're continuing to figure it out. And our probably most common one is that we've both been dog rescuers and dog foster moms for a long time. Right. Which most people think that's nuts. Like when I'm like, I'll take in this pregnant dog and let her deliver her pups down. They're like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of work. And I'm like, it's cool. I get to love a a creature that needs it. Like, awesome. Let's do it. So yeah, I've been doing dog and cat and animal rescue for like nine ish years, like, like, like fostering. Um, uh, though we did like my mother and I did like TNR in LA, especially after the riots, um, early nineties. So kind of did that. So had our feet in the water with that and then moved and realize that most states that are warm year round have an overpopulation issue. So yeah, we both uh, share our hearts in that and um, and our hearts and having our hearts heartbroken by family members that choose um, a religion over relationships with family members and kids, us. Yeah, it's a very painful experience and it can be a very lonely experience. And with the gaslighting, it's even more lonely and it can make you feel crazy. So we kind of want to normalize that and bring, (laughs) normalize the opposite of that, that you're not crazy and that there is an entire community of people who have gone through the whole thing as well and who have had to realize that their parents are going to choose their religion over their biological children uh, if it comes down to it at the end of the day. I think we've talked on about our unconditional love for animals and how they give us unconditional love. And both you and I bonded early with our pets. And that has always been such a nice safe space for us. And it's true. We can get and give the love that maybe we didn't get as kids and not in the way that we needed. And developmentally, it's you know, we can't change that, but we can at least be showing up in the world as what we think and feel that we needed, which yeah. is, you know, kind of the best thing that you can do, you know, given the shit circumstances, you know? Yeah. So I hope people are interested in our journey. Um, we are being honest and open. Uh, there's a bit more at stake for Alicia because she has not been officially declared. Well, I haven't been officially declared. I never saw anything, but I've been officially disconnected from. Um, she's had other situations where we're kind of on the borderline. And everybody who comes from our background realizes the consequences of speaking out publicly. And that is that you're most likely going to lose your friends and family that you grew up with. So I applaud you, Alicia, for joining the side of DBs, degraded beings who speak out half of them. We're we're the bad ones, y'all. Yeah, we're the bad ones. Um, (laughs) And we think it's funny now instead of crying about it. So we want to Yeah, we still cry. We just, you know, fix our makeup after and send each other stupid memes. Yeah, we want to share that experience with you guys and share our stupid memes and share our playlists that help us get through these hard times. And um, we have a lot of unique ideas to talk about. Uh, So we hope you join us. And follow us, join in our journey. If you want to share yours along the way, that's cool too. We're hoping to have a segment where people can send in their personal disconnection stories if they're not ready to share them publicly. And we'll share it if you're willing. We'll read it and share it. And that way the world can see what really happens, even if people still in want to deny what happens. Yeah. So we are here for good. 
the degraded daughters of Dianetics. I was raised by the book, A Child Dianetics, by the word, from birth. Uh, Alicia, silent birth, silent birth, man. From, from, we were born from silent, oh, from silent birth to disconnection is, is our title of our tale. So please join us. Um, and we hope to see you soon. Tune in. Bye.